Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about development of endosperm, which is a topic of class 12th chapter 1, that is sexual reproduction in flowering plants. In this video, we are going to discuss introduction of endosperm. Then there are three different types of endosperms, named nuclear, cellular and halobial endosperm. In the last video, you will handwritten notes. If you want these notes in PDF format, you can join our channel from Telegram channel, which you will find in the description box. And in the end of the video, there will be one question for you as a quiz, which you will have to answer in the comment section. Mein. So welcome to this channel, learn with me and I am Shilu Pachauri. This is an image of anatropus ovule, where the pollen tube enters through the micropallid region. Pollen tube contains two male gametes, which means one male gamete jacker excel ke saath fuse hota hai, and another male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei of the central cell. So, the second male gamete or polar nuclei ka fusion hoga, that is called triple fusion, which is shown here in this image, where the second male gamete, which is haploid in nature, fuses with the polar nuclei. Polar nuclei is deployed. Hote hai, so, haploid or diploid jab fuse honge, that results into the formation of triploid structure, jisse kaha jata hai PEMC, that is primary endosperm mother cell, or it is also known as PEN, that is primary endosperm nucleus. So, PEN triploid honge. Now, this PEN will divide mitotically to give rise to the mass of nutritive cell that is called endosperm, or endosperm yaha par triploid hote hai. So, the main function of endosperm is to nourish the developing embryo. So, the formation of endosperm starts prior to the formation of embryo. When endosperm ban jayenge, iske baad embryo development start hoga and this developing embryo will get nourishment from the endosperm. So, after that the synergids which are present here, it will gradually degenerate as well as the antipodal cells which are present on the calyxis and will also degenerate. So, PEMC or PEN ke mitotically divide hone se endosperm ka formation hota hai. On the basis of development, endosperms is classified into three main groups such as nuclear endosperm, cellular endosperm and halobial endosperm. Now, let's discuss each one of them in detail. First type of endosperm is nuclear endosperm which is very common and it is found in around 56% of the angiosperms. Yahan par sabse pehli, Primary endosperm nucleus which is deployed, it will start dividing mitotically. Mitotically divide karta hua, iska nucleus multiply karega aur yaha pe cell wall ka formation nahi hoga, jis ki wajah se large number mein free nucleus produce honge. After that, a big central vacuole will develop at the center aur jitne bhi ye free nucleus se inhe peripheral region par push karta hua grow karega. Iske baad, in saare nucleus ke around, cell wall ka formation hota hai and that's how it forms multicellular endosperm. But sometimes cell wall ka formation incomplete reh jata hai as you can see here incomplete cell wall formation hoga jis ki wajay se aisa structure dekhne ko milta hai. Incomplete cell wall formation ke kuch examples hain jaysa ki sunflower, wheat and coconut. They all have nuclear type of endosperms. So, coconut may this white colored portion is actually the multicellular endosperm and the fluid which is present inside this coconut is actually a free nuclear endosperm will nourish the developing embryo. Now, the second type of endosperm is cellular endosperm which can be seen in around 25% of the endosperms or mostly ye dicots mein dekhne ko milta hai. Yahan par primary endosperm nucleus mitotically divide karenge aur jitni bar cell divide karega immediately it will be followed by this cell wall formation. So, yahan par beginning se hi endosperm cellular honge that's why the name is given cellular endosperm. Nuclear mein humne dekha tha cell wall ka formation last mein hua tha but cellular endosperm mein starting se endosperm ka formation hoga. The examples of the plant that show cellular endosperms are the Tura, Adoxa, Petunia, etc. Now, the third type of endosperm is called halobial endosperm, which can be seen in around 19% of the endosperms and mostly it is seen in monocots. So, primary endosperm nucleus jab divide karega, then it will be immediately followed by the transverse wall formation. This ki wajah se two unequal cells ka formation hota hai. The one with the micropallar cell will be large, but the another one which is present at the calyxal end, that is calyxal cell, will be smaller. Now, the nucleus of the calyxal cell will remain undivided, ya fir ye thoda sa mitotically divide karte hai. 
वाइल जो माइक्रोपाइल न्यूक्लियस होंगे दे विल डिवाइड बाय द फ्री न्यूक्लियर डिवीजन और इनके बाद यहाँ पर सेंटिपिटल सेल वॉल फॉर्मेशन होगा सो माइक्रोपाइल एंड की तरफ जो डिविजन होंगे दैट विल बी सिमिलर टू दी सेलुलर एंडोस्पर्म्स वेर एज कैलेजल सेल्स विल बी सिमिलर टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ न्यूक्लियर एंडोस्पर्म्स तो यहाँ पर आप देख सकते हैं इट इज अ इंटरमीडिएट बिटवीन द सेलुलर एंड न्यूक्लियर टाइप ऑफ एंडोस्पर्म्स एंड इट इज नोन एज हेलोबियल एंडोस्पर्म एग्जाम्पल की बात करें तो एसफोडिलस इज अ प्लांट दैट शोज हेलोबियल टाइप ऑफ एंडोस्पर्म एंड नाउ दिस इज अंड रिटर्न नोट ऑफ पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन इवेंट जहां पर हमने एंडोस्पर्म डेवलपमेंट की बात करी है ये नोट्स अगर आपको पी के फॉर्मेट में चाहिए तो आप हमारे टेलीग्राम चैनल से जुड़ सकते हैं जिसका लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स से मिल जाएगा एंड नाउ इट्स अ क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन अनियंस द टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स आर थर्टी टू सो वॉट विल बी द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स ऑफ इट्स एंडोस्पर्म मैं आपको हिंट देती हूँ एंडोस्पर्म्स आर ट्रिप्लॉयड इन नेचर अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छी लगी हो तो इसे लाइक शेयर जरूर करिएगा सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा ताकि आने वाली वीडियोज आपको यूं ही मिलती रहे तब तक के लिए बाय बाय टेक केयर